While searching for the family of the writer Gerhard René Podpialski, some leads hinted towards Berlin. But most of them proved false. Dear Mr. Podbielski, as you can imagine, I was surprised to hear from you. I would love to help you, but I don't know too much about the Polish Prussian Podbielskis. I do still have an uncle left, Erich Podbielski. He is the youngest of nine children. My grandfather came from Nikolaiken, Masurunsi. He lived in Königsberg, East Prussia, where my father Moritz, Erich, Siegfried, Caesar, Martha, Anna, Lena, Max were from. This letter was written by Rita Schalten, born Podpiaski from New York in 1982 to Gerhard René Podpiaski's son. But the different branches of the family couldn't be brought together. The research came to nothing then, and the letter disappeared in a drawer in Milan for more than 30 years. Meanwhile, we know that the sender and the addressee were cousins. I myself was born in Königsberg. I went to Berlin in 1933. So we have a look into the Berlin directories, which are available online from 1799 to 1943, provided by Berlin State Library. And there in the 1936 directory we find him, Moritz Podbielski, Merkant in Wilmersdorf. Ja, Moritz Podbielski und seine Frau Hanna, geborene Bloch, und die Töchter Eva und Rita, als die 1933 von Königsberg nach Berlin kamen, wohnten sie zunächst in der Geisenheimer Straße Nummer 42. Das ist hier, in der Nähe des Rüdesheimer Platzes, also auch hier ganz in der Nähe von unserem heutigen Büro. Und die alten Berliner Adressbücher verraten uns, dass sie dann schon nach wenigen Jahren an den Miraner Platz in Schöneberg zogen. Das ist hier im Bereich der Miraner Straße. Den Platz gibt es heute selber nicht mehr, der ist überbaut. Gerhard René Podpielski came to Berlin, where he had many friends frequently during the 1930s. Did you also visit Uncle Moritz, Aunt Hannah and his cousins Eva and Rita at Miraner Platz 1? We don't know. The situation got worse. Books were burned, arbitrary acts of discrimination and violence were on the agenda. But Bielski describes vividly in his novel Aufbruch for him the atmosphere in Berlin after the Nazi seizure of power. He emigrated to England in January 1939. His eight years younger cousin Rita, the later sender of the letter from New York, got out with a kinder transport. Her parents and her sister Eva did not get out. Separated from each other, they were deported to Litzmannstadt Ghetto with two of the earliest trains which left Berlin in autumn 1941. Their names can be found on the lists of the Gestapo and of the ones from the ghetto.
Meanwhile, the name Podpialski has returned to Berlin visibly. Not the old general Theophil von Podpialski's name, as with the Podpialski Alley in Berlin Dahlem and with the underground station there, but the name of the Jewish Podpialskis, of the expulsed, the murdered, with the gallery of Gerhard René Podpialski's son at Koppenplatz and the old Jewish Scheunenviertel in Berlin Mitte. <laughs> 